POPQ, short for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Quantification System. This is a standardized and objective system used to assess, document and stage pelvic organ prolapse making it particularly useful when comparing data and techniques in different centers and for research purposes. This video is going to be all about how to use this tool. For further information about uterovaginal prolapse, take a look at my other video on this topic. POPQ uses a series of reference points within the vagina to describe the prolapse. These are all measured in centimeters relative to the hymen over here, which is a fixed zero point. All points above the hymen are given a negative number, such as minus two, two centimeters above the hymen, and those below the hymen are given a positive number, such as two, meaning two centimeters below the hymen. AA refers to a point on the anterior vaginal wall, which is three centimeters proximal to the hymen. Therefore, in this picture, with no prolapse, it is at minus 3. This can range from minus 3 to plus 3. BA refers to the distal portion of the remaining anterior vaginal wall. So in this case, it is also at minus 3. This can range from minus 3 to plus 7 in severe cases. Similarly, AP refers to a point on the posterior vaginal wall, 3 cm proximal to the hymen, ranging from minus 3 to plus 3. BP refers to the distal portion of the remaining posterior vaginal wall, ranging from minus 3 to plus 7. C refers to the lowest edge of the cervix, or a vaginal cuff, following a hysterectomy. So this can range from minus 10 to 7 or 8. D refers to the posterior fornix if the uterus is present, and this is usually 2 to 3 centimeters above point C. This is excluded if the patient has had a hysterectomy. GH refers to the genital hiatus, which is measured from the middle of the external urethral meatus to the middle of the posterior hymen. PB refers to the perineal body and is measured from the posterior hymen to the middle of the anus. TVL refers to the total vaginal length, which can be measured when point C or D are in their normal place. When using POPQ, all of these measurements are presented in a grid like this one. The standardized way of presenting these measurements will make it possible for colleagues to understand. So to understand better what's going on, let's take a look at some examples. So here, as, you, as we can see from this picture, we've got a cystocele, as the bladder is descending. But how is this presented on POPQ? So our AA is over here, so at zero. The most distal point of BA is also at zero. Therefore, these measurements are representing a cystocele. Next, over here, we have got AP at minus 1 and BP at minus 1, 2. This is representing a rectocele. Next, C, which is the distal point of the cervix, is at minus 1, while D, the point of the posterior fornix, is at minus 3, therefore representing uterine descent. Our final example now is this. So here we can see AA at plus 3, 3 centimeters below the hymen. We have BA at 7, AP at 3, and BP at 7. Next, we have the cervix also at 7, and D at 5. Therefore, with all of these measurements beyond the hymen, this is representing a complete or stage 4 uterine prolapse, also referred to as a procedencia. Let me know if you found this useful. Take a look at the daily quiz questions I'm posting here on YouTube for more examples using the PopQ system. 
like and subscribe.